Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Colin, and today I wanted to go over some unique advice that you might not be able to find anywhere else about interviewing. I've had great success in interviews in my life, and I actually just got off of a phone interview with a potential summer internship, and that went extremely well also. But doing well in these interviews is not just luck, and there's some unique tactics that I go into these interviews with, and I wanted to share that with you guys today. And these will prove very useful to you, especially if you are a young adult that has little to no experience. Okay, so I may have lied about this first one, and you've probably heard of it, but build a great resume. This one might be a little cliche, but if you are brand new to the game, and you have little to no experience, this is extremely important. During your interview, your interviewers probably have your resume sitting in front of them and it needs to be something that pops. It needs to be something that stands out from the others because you lack experience. Your visual presentation needs to overcome the lack of information that is on your resume. Be clean and organized, but don't be afraid to get outside the box. Add in some color or add a font that stands out. Add some of your character into your resume so that it says more about you. Now the second tip I have is don't summarize the information that's on your resume. If they ever ask you about your past experiences or some of your work history, why would you just say the words that are on your resume when they can just read them? That's such a waste of an interview. The interview is to add information to the resume, to your entire application. When they ask you about your past work experience, you need to tell them your motivating factors why you did that job in the first place, what you achieved there, things of that nature, things that aren't on the resume, not how long you were there, what tasks you completed. Don't be afraid to talk about your successes and failures and things that you tried to improve upon and things that you think you can improve upon at this new employer's place. The third tip I have for you is to show you're an achiever, not a doer. You're probably wondering, Colin, what the heck does this mean? Now this one is a little difficult to explain, so I'm going to use an example first to try to make sense of it. So let's pretend I was the president of student government at Eastern and they're asking about that position. Instead of saying, I'm the president, I lead the meetings, I am the spokesman for the organization, blah, 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 talk about things that you've achieved. Say, through leading meetings or through being the spokesperson, I have increased the Senate by 50% and I have increased our general membership by 200%, right? Do you see how much better that sounds? Talk about the things that you've achieved in that role, not just the things that you do. Be an achiever, not a doer. The fourth and final tip, I'm sorry, is not very original, but it's so overlooked and that's just to follow up with your interviewer. Take the time to write a handwritten note or send an email just a few days after your interview just to thank them for having an interview with you. They took time out of their workday or out of their spare time to meet with you and get to know you. So you have to be willing to go above and beyond to thank them for spending that time with you and give better insight in what you really like. And by doing this, it gets your name back out there. So your name is running through their head again when they're going through the decision process. I hope you guys can make use of these tips and smash your next interview. If you can, please smash that like button and subscribe for more in the future if you enjoyed this video. Share this video with friends to help them out as well. And that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.